Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the shop, getting things done, working on the ProMaster build. And in today's episode, we're going to be setting up the solar panels that will attach to the roof rack and then drilling out the holes for the entry of the wiring that will come from the panels down into your electrical system. So pretty much got everything laid out here on the table. And I just want to go through a little bit of what's going to be going on on the solar panel setup. So right here I have two 50 watt panels that will be wired in series. So that'll give you your 100 watts. Behind me I have two 250 watt panels. The same thing will be wired in series. So you'll have 500 watts there, plus your 100 watts here, 600 watts total. And the way I'm gonna be connecting those up are to two different charge controllers to get 100% efficiency out of both sets of panels. So the bigger set will be going to a, a little bit of a bigger charge controller, and then the little 100 watt set will be going to a smaller charge controller. And the reason is when you have mismatched panels, and if you connect those together, your panels will go to whichever panels have the lowest voltage. So because these are a little bit of a lower voltage output than these, these bigger panels would operate on this voltage, which means you lose wattage. So to maximize efficiency on mismatch panels, you have to run your sets to two different charge controllers, which then when it hits your battery, you can get the full 600 watts. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is go ahead, prep these panels and put the flush mount brackets on them. Once I have that, I can throw them up on the roof, bolt them down, and then next, I'll just be drilling the holes for the cable entries, and be, I will be using these two scan strut dual cable seals that will be mounted on the roof. So let's go ahead and prep these up. Okay, first steps. I'm going to prep these panels for the flush mount brackets and because these are going to be mounted on the sides of the max air fan, I'm going to drill out two new holes here and there for the brackets because they will attach to the roof rack framing on, these, on this side and that side of the panel. Same for both sides, so I need to drill out four new holes here and here and then get those brackets up in there. So, pretty simple. Just gonna get the drill, get the uh, step bit in there, drill out a hole here, here, there, there, and uh, that'll do it. So I'm just gonna measure out a couple of inches from each side just to make sure they're even. Let's see, I guess I should measure the whole thing, or I could just eyeball it. Why don't we just eyeball it? Something like, maybe like that. One there. There.
All right, next we're going to install the scan strut solar entry for the wires. And I have the template right here. So as you can see, it fits on the actual width of one of the channels here, the raise channel. So I'll show you how it would look once it's installed. It fits perfectly in between there, so you'll have a nice seal there. It is perfectly flat, and you're not coming off the edges. So I'm going to go cut these holes out, and then get it primed up. Actually, I'm going to put one here, and then another one right behind it for the two different sets of panels. All right, so I lost audio on the previous clips I had recorded, so I'm just going to go back and go over how I mounted in the scan strut entry glands. So basically, it comes with a foam gasket here that uh, sticks on. You just peel the back into it, and then it sticks on there, and you just align them to the holes that you had drilled out. And then it comes with the, the base that screws down. And basically, you just line it up on there, and then you have these screws that you just screw them down into. But I'm going to show you what I did on the inside to have something for those screws to grab into. So let's just go down into the van and this door so there's more light. Oops. So inside the van, I fabbed up these marine board brackets, or I guess mounting plates, that uh, I just traced out the outline of the template that the cutouts came with and drilled out the same holes so that they line up and basically glued them in to the ceiling of the van roof. So now, as you can see on this one I already installed, you can see the screws coming through that has something to grab down into so it can seal it up and tighten up on the foam gasket. So I'm just going to go up there, screw this one in and then finish that up. And then I'm going to wire up the solar panels so that I can route the wires down in through this. Next, I'm going to connect up the solar panels in series. So I have the two 250 watt panels here and here, and I have the wires pulled out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect them positive, negative, and then run the other two ends in through the entry seals into the van. So that's how you connect them in series. So basically you take the negative side on one to the positive side on the other, and then you just 
clip them together, and then I'm going to zip tie these wires so they're not bouncing around. And then I'm going to run this end and this end into the van. So it's pretty simple. Let me just see which one has more. So it looks like these two I'm going to connect up. Just press in until it clicks. And now that it's connected, I'm going to grab some zip ties and zip this up here. Probably put one on this, maybe one here and here so that we don't get any rattling going on. Because I'm going to be extending these cables from the solar panels, you'll want to flip the connectors. So for the positive wire, you'll want to use the negative. And then for the negative wire, you'll want to use the positive. This is so it can extend the current cable because if you don't, it'll be mismatched. Because the solar panel for the positive wire will have this coming off it, right? And then if you matched the negative to the wire, you would have the red wire and then it would change to the black wire. So in order to just do an extension, what you want to do is flip it on the wire you're extending. So on my positive wire here, I'm going to be putting the negative end onto this so that the positive end that comes from the panel will plug into it and then it'll still be positive because I'm using a red wire here. If both of your wires were black, then I would say it wouldn't matter. You would just have to keep track of uh, which one it is when it gets into the van. But because I'm using a red wire, I want to make sure that it stays positive. Okay, we're back at the front of the van. What I'm going to do is basically just clean this up, clean up this wiring. I'm going to put some wire loom around the exposed wires just to give it a little extra UV protection. And then I'm going to be zip tying them to the 8020 with these UV resistant zip ties. So let's go.
check it out. The solar panels are in, bolted down, and all the wires are nice and tucked in around the 80-20. So uh, branch of wires goes that way, and then it goes down the side into the scan strut entry glands over there, which drop into the van. Let me see if I can drop down into the van to take a quick... There it is inside the van, the two drops. And right now I just have them hanging until I get the electrical. But that's pretty much it. And then you can see how the flush mount looks when you're pretty much standing down on the street level. You won't even be able to see them. Just looks like a regular roof rack with nothing else but a fan and a AC. And even then when you're down on the street, you can't even barely tell there's anything on the roof besides the AC. Check that out. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.